former Rutgers football player Eric Legrand last year, fighting his way through a life-threatening spinal cord injury. And finding inspiration to start his own business now during the pandemic. Here's another look at his journey. In 2010, Eric Legrand stepped onto the football field, not knowing this would be the last game he'd ever play. Five minutes left in the fourth quarter, he made a big play for his team, and it left him fighting for his life and with a spinal cord injury that paralyzed him from the neck down. But for this former football star, it was the start of an inspiring journey. Eric found his purpose as a motivational speaker and his passion in a cup of coffee. Eric has realized his dream of opening his own coffee shop. So what's the future hold for the Le Grand Coffee House CEO? Well, that's still brewing. Ah, I knew you'd like that. Rob, here he is, the CEO of the now open Le Grand Coffee House. Everybody, Eric Le Grand in the building with us. Man, it's good to see you in that smiling face. Look, a lot of people are familiar with your story now, and I didn't think about this until this moment we were watching that. How often do you look at that play of you on the football field, and what's it like to watch that? You know, I've seen it now quite often, actually, yeah. because I do a lot of motivational speaking, yeah. and I love to actually play it so people can see how it happened to me and my injury. So I've seen that play you said you love quite often. It. I do like it, but in the beginning it was a little bit, yeah. you know, shaky, but now it's kind of who I am and my story wow. and what I'm about, so it does not bother me to watch that. Oh. Wow, I was, it's funny, I was thinking the exact same thing, what that was like for you, but look at you now, living your dream, and this is probably my favorite fun fact of this whole story, so you, you make this amazing coffee shop, and you hadn't actually ever had a cup of coffee until mm -hmm. August of 2020, please mm -hmm. explain. So I, I still, to this day, I say, when I wake up, I don't really need coffee, I wake up, I'm pumped up, I'm ready to go. But now I enjoy it. I have to have my hot cup of coffee with a little bit of creamer in the morning. That really gets me going now, and I just enjoy the taste of it, getting to learn all these different flavors, all these different farms that we're, that we're getting our coffee from or we're sourcing it from. So I'm really starting to really enjoy just the whole coffee atmosphere in it, general. It's an experience, right? I it mean, is. I've been an avid coffee drinker for years, but it, it, some people say it's a taste you have to kind of get used to. Did you love it right away? So I, I, I always say I had like a few sips when I was like in my teenage years, and I was like, nah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and now, now I drink, I'm like, this stuff is actually good. You know, I, could, I could drink it black. I could drink it with a little bit of creamer. And then if I'm really feeling fancy, usually in the afternoons, I like to get my iced caramel lattes that, mm. I, that I make. Oh, hey, from a sip as a teenager to an iced caramel <laughs> latte. Okay, very nice. Uh, look, you, you've said after the, the injury, you said doctors said you wouldn't do this, wouldn't be able to do that. People kept telling you what you weren't going to be able to do, and then you overcame, and now here you are. Now, with the coffee shop, which is now brick and mortar, open mm -hmm. now in New Jersey, um, what about this journey now? Is there anything you feel at this point you can't do? I've always said, you know, when people tell me I can't do stuff, I use it as motivation. It's always been who I am. I've always been a responsible person when it comes to if someone's relying on me or looking up to me in a situation, I say, you know what? This is my responsibility. I can't let that person down. Mm -hmm. So when it came to my injury and all the doctors were telling me this and that, but all these people were supporting me. I'm like, I don't care what the doctor said. I'm not going to let my people down. And now when it comes down to opening up my own coffee shop, I have a responsibility to the workers, to the people that are our customers that are coming in each and every day to create that atmosphere where we want coffee, comfort, satisfaction, and just overall people to feel welcome when they enter their doors and enter into the Grand Coffee House. You know, so many people have had to make a, a pandemic pivot trying to come up with ways to start their own businesses. What advice would you give CEO Eric Legrand? <laughs> what advice would you give to people out there who are looking to do something similar and feel like they can't? Find something that really makes you wake up in the morning and feel thankful and feel grateful. You know, a lot of times when I wake up, I'm like, I get to go to, you know, get to go into work where I get to interact with my with my staff, talk to the customers and learn a little bit more about them. I always try to find a passion that you really enjoy doing, create habits, at least, at least something once a day that you look forward to. Yes, there's going to be negative things happening in the world and bad things that happen in our life, but if you have one thing to look forward to each and every day, then you'll be able to create a habit where you know what? I get to at least do that for that day. I get to look forward to what I'm going to do a little bit later. Eric Legrand, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, and again, if you're near Woodbridge Township, New Jersey, you can stop by Legrand Coffee House for your own cup of believe. That's what yes. you call it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys for having me. I truly do appreciate it. Oh, my goodness.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.